Good afternoon students. I am Dr. Rajivadhan. We will discuss today about television news format. Do you know television news format? Have you seen television news in fact? When you go, when you see, when you switch on your television, you see that television anchors read stories and then there are various visuals which are being shown. So television news format is a format in which you show the television news to the audience or to the viewers in fact. So there are various categories of television news, there are various kinds of television news. So we will today discuss about that. So the first television news format is dry news. Dry news means there is no visual related with it. What happens that suppose there is emergency, uh, there is a uh, breaking news which comes to your desk and immediately it should be informed to the audience, to the viewers. So what editor does that he says it to anchor and anchor immediately announces it and there is no visual related with it. So dry news is a news format in which there is only anchor script there is no visual related with it. So this news is called dry news. But immediately after that, the editor may decide that if although they may not have visual, they should think that there may be some graphics related with it. So there is one graphics department in television news. So they ask the graphic man to make a graphic uh, related with that news. So next time when the news is aired, the news is aired with the help of graphics. So the first news anchor reads this story and a graphics is shown on the television screen. So this news format is called news with graphics, news with graphics. In short it is called graphics, GFX, news with graphics. Another news format is AV format. In this, the AV is a short form, it is called audio visual. In audio visual, the anchor reads this story and there is related vid video available with it. So when the anchor reads, there is another visual which is being shown to that, shown to the viewers. So the same visual which has been uh, sent by the reporter is shown to the audience or the viewer and this news format is called audio visual. Meantime, it may happen that the reporter may have taken some bite. Bite is a piece of information, a piece of uh, uh, information which I have taken on record by reporter. So, a news which is aired with visual and bite is called audio visual bite. The short form for it is AVB, AVB. So in this AVB news format, there is anchor script, the anchor reads it and there is visual and there is one bite related with that incident or that story. So this is called AVB news format. There is another news format which is called AVBB. In this, there are two bytes. One is one shows the one side of the story and another byte shows about the another side of the story. Suppose there is one person who has alleged that someone has taken bribe, then the in first byte we will show about the allegations and in another byte we will show about the explanation. Suppose there is one person who alleges that district magistrates have take, uh, has taken bribe, then in one bite we will show about the allegation. In another bite, we will give the uh, side of, uh, we will give the story of the district magistrate side. So both the story is balanced. So this is AVBB format. In this, anchor reads the story and the visual is shown. Then there is another bite and just after that bite, 
another byte. So two bytes are there. That's why it is called AVBB, audio visual byte byte news format. Another news format is wo short news format. Sometimes what happens that there is an international story or there is cricket story in which there is no bite available. But it is so important that the audience or the viewer needs to be informed in detail. So in this wo short format what happens that anchor just introduces the story that there is some important crisis or there is uh, like uh, China crisis or uh, uh, another crisis there may be some crisis in Kashmir or another part of the uh, country or another part of the world. So what they do that in anchor just introduces the story and the visual is shown and besides this visual audio also comes with that visual. So that news format is called wo short news format in that there is no bite but there is explanation of the incident, there is explanation of the story with audio. There is another news format which is called package. This is a complete information. Package is called a complete story. In this, there are different sections of package. The first section is called anchor story. In that anchor story, or anchor script, there is a script which anchor has to read it out on the television screen. Then there is VO1. VO means VO is the full uh, short form of voiceover. So in VO1, you just introduces the story. So whatever the story is, you introduce it in VO1. And then there is a byte related with voiceover. Then there is another VO2, it, which is which also which uh, and again explains the story. And there is another byte related with VO2 and there is now final VO. In that final VO, you conclude this story. So this should be the proper format for package. So there are various sections in package, but there is no need, there is no uh, rule that there shall be only two VO in, or three VO in package. There may be different VOs. There may be four VO, there may be five VO, there shall be a final, there has to be a final VO. Apart from that, after final VO or before in his, uh, starting the package, there may be piece to camera that is P2C. So in a package, that's why it is called package is a full information of story, full complete information. You give complete information in a package. So the package, there may be P2C or there may not be P2C. It is not required, but it has to be, bytes should be with there and there should be both the view of the byte, it should be balanced. You cannot uh, uh, give only one byte that someone has alleged and you should not give uh, other byte that uh, other side of information, both side of information of a story should be given in package. That's why it is called complete information. P2C, are, there are three types of P2C. P2C is a uh, information which is being given by the reporter from the spot. So from where he is reporting, he gives some information to increase the credibility, to inform the public more better way. So P2C are of three types, beginning P2C, bridge P2C and end P2C. So likewise in package, you can include beginning P2C. So you may start the package with P2C and then VO and then byte and then uh, another VO and then byte and then final VO. Or you may incorporate the P2C in between, then it shall be called bridge P2C. So you may bridge it with voice over 1 and voice over 2 or wherever you may require. It depends upon your creative talent and your creativity and your own planning and your own decision. Or it may happen that you decide that just after the package, after the final VO, you should incorporate the P2C. So this is called end P2C. In it, whatever has been shown, at last the reporter concludes this story. The reporter concludes the story. So that's why it is called end P2C. Another news format is Vox Pop. In this Vox Pop, what is uh, Vox 
popularly in fact this is a latin word in which you see uh, the vox pop is a short form for vox populi in this there are voices of different people different people sometimes it may happen suppose there is a railway bazaar in which visual is not important what is the reaction of others what is the reaction of public is more important in that there is no only one byte there is there may be 10 bytes there may be 15 bytes there may be a byte related with uh, uh, housewife there may be another byte with students there may be an, another reaction of professors there may be another reaction of uh, uh, some uh, doctor or other person that what the buzzer, how the budget will affect them so in this case we just air the bytes only byte after byte byte after byte so if there is more than 3 bytes then we call it vox populi. So it happens when the, the visual is not important, the reaction or the bite is important, at that time we apply this news format and this news format is called vox populi and in short it is called vox pop. There are various news uh, formats which have been developed in the process of working. So these are the various news formats which are prevalent in the industry which are being used in the industry. But this does not mean that you cannot creatively upgrade or you can creatively uh, introduce a new kind of format. The basic principle is that the viewers or the audience should be better informed, should be informed in such a way that your message is communicated. And you know the principle of communication, you know the process of communication. The process of communication ends only when the, your information is completely uh, passed to the uh, receiver, to the receiver. So when you are uh, informing to the uh, viewer, you are just sender and you are sending some message and the person who is receiving it is a receiver. So the message should be communicated properly. So, if for this proper communication, if you develop a new kind of news format, it is always welcome. These are only news formats which are prevalent in the industry and which have been developed because of the new technology, because of the advent of technology. And now as you know, we are in the process of convergence, uh, convergence of journalism in which internet has become a platform in which all the formats of media, all the different formats of media has converged into one platform and that is internet. So with this convergence of media, there are large scope for developing new kind of news format. So these are news formats which are prevalent in the industry. But if you think there should be another kind of story, there should be another kind of narrative, there's, there may be another kind of telling the story, telling the information to the public, then it could also be. Thank you.